This is Paul Williams ready to bring you a thrilling football game, and there's another thrill in store for you this Friday. You'll get your first look at the new 1951 Ford. It has 43 new look-ahead features because this car is built not just for this year and next, but for the years ahead. The new 51 Ford is designed and built to stay young through the years. Young in appearance, young in performance. You'll want to see it, we know. So why not stop in at your Ford dealers this Friday and try the 51 Ford. Test drive it any way you like. We think you'll agree that feature for feature, you can pay more, but you can't buy better. Now to this game between Northwestern and Michigan, the Northwestern team in the white uniforms coming on the field. Here's the kickoff, Harry Ellis kicking off for Michigan. Ball going downfield, taken by Gene Miller at the end zone. And he starts up field to the five. Comes back to the 10 and goes to about the 13 before he's finally pulled down by Al Wall and Alan Jackson. First and 10 for the Wildcats. And Dick Flowers handing off to Gene Miller again. Miller going wide. Starts to cut back up field. Al Wall and Zatkoff bring him down. Two flankers wide now for the Wildcats. Flowers laterals this time to Rich Athen, who doesn't go too far on this play. Gets a fairly nice gain of about seven or eight yards before he's finally pulled down. But that's a play that he makes quite a bit of distance on later in the ball game. Flowers again, handing off this time to Dick Alvin, who's the left halfback. He's hit by Don Dufek as he gets to about the 31. Dufek played a whale of a game on defense as well as on offense. Here's Alvin again, and there's Dufek to meet him. Boys saw quite a bit of each other on this play. Flowers dropping back, looking for a pass receiver. There's his throw. And it's Dufek who takes that ball intended for Stone Cipher, cuts wide, comes back up, and is pulled down by Stone Cipher as he gets up to about the 40-yard, 35-yard line. Kudich going back, the ball goes to Chuck Ortman. Ortman coming up field, and he fumbles, but the ball is recovered by Big Tom Johnson, and Michigan hangs on. Single wing to the right for the Wolverines, the ball to Dufek. In fact, going straight ahead, cuts outside Tom Johnson, goes down to the 20, down to the 15, where he's hit by Bill Baggett and Alvin, thrown out of bounds over on about the nine-yard line. Ball back to Ortman. Ortman decides to go wide, but Ben Daniel breaks through to pull him down. Now we go to slow motion as the Wolverines are trying to dent that northwestern line, which has been pretty tough so far. The ball is handed off to little West Bradford, not much of a hole, but he pounds his way forward for two. The Northwestern defense was overshifted to stop this little fella, but it left a big hole over on that other side, and Michigan will take advantage of it. There's the ball going to Dufek. Dufek tries to plow his way forward, gets nowhere, but there's an offside penalty on the play. Northwestern was offside, a costly penalty. The ball down on the three-yard line. The ball to Dufek. Dufek finds a hole behind the blocking of that same little Bradford and goes into the end zone for a touchdown. Michigan out in front, six to nothing. Harry Ellis back to kick. Chuck Ortman will hold. There's the boot. And it's good. Score seven to nothing. Just getting underway in the first quarter. Michigan out in front. Ellis kicking off. Ball goes down into the end zone where Miller fumbles it. Decides to stay there, and the ball comes out to the 20. Flowers on a handoff to Rich Athen. Athen stumbles as he gets back up field, picks up about a yard before he's pulled down. Tight T formation for Northwestern. Gene Miller going wide, starts to cut back, and he's pulled down by Ozzy Clark, who wasn't fooled a bit. Dick Flowers dropping back. There's his throw way downfield, intended for Dick Alvin, incomplete. Here's the wide punt formation of the Wildcats. Cracks up getting the ball away. Goes downfield and bounces back toward the Michigan goal. Goes to the 47, where it's down, and Michigan takes over first and 10. Bradford in motion out to the right. The ball goes to Dufek. Dufek fakes a handoff, finds a hole, picks up two yards over the left tackle of the Wildcats. In motion. Bradford coming around, but it's a spinner. Dufek going straight ahead again, but he's met rather suddenly. Ball is on the 45-yard line of Michigan. Kudich back for a pass. Looks downfield. 
Intended for Lowell Perry, knocked down by Dick Alvin, incomplete. Punt formation for the Wolverines. Harry Ellis going wide to the right. Hartman gets the kick away. Chuck Hagman rushing him. The ball goes into the end zone. Northwestern will take over on the Northwestern 20, first and 10. A plunge straight ahead by Dick Alvin. Picks up about two. Here's Alvin again coming wide, but Tom Johnson and Harry Ellis meet him, pull him down as he gets to about the 24. Dick Flowers back to pass now. There's a throw downfield. Almost intercepted by Chuck Ortman, incomplete. The boys argue that it was intercepted, but it wasn't. Here's the wide punt formation for the Wildcats again. Ball goes back to Traxxas, standing deep. Gets it away, he falls. He wasn't hit, and the ball goes out of bounds in Northwestern Territory once more. Michigan again on the mark. Kudich going in motion. A jump pass from Wartman to Lowell Perry. Perry picks it up and fights his way down to the 33 before he's pulled down. Dupek with the ball. There's the fake handoff. Dupek gets out in the clear, goes down to the 20, down to the 15, down to the 10, and knocked out of bounds by Bill Baggett down on the seven yard line. Single wing to the right. Ball back to Hartman. He starts to cut in. Goes outside, takes advantage of a block, gets away from Wally Jones, drives forward and into the end zone for the touchdown. And the score is Michigan 13, Northwestern nothing. There's the kick, but this time it was wide, and the score remains 13 to nothing. Now we go to the next quarter, the second quarter. There was no more scoring in that first quarter. Bradford taking a handoff from Pudich, picks up about two. Michigan on the move again. Ball is on the 42-yard line, 43-yard line. Bradford going wide, tries to come up field. Dick Alvin pulls him down just about at the line of scrimmage. Single wing to the right for the Wolverines. The ball goes back to Chuck Hartman. Hartman throws downfield intended for Pickard. Ball is intercepted, however, by Bill Baggett. Baggett shakes off a tackler coming up field and is finally pulled down by Tom Johnson. Hand off to Gene Miller. Miller goes to the 45 before he's pulled down. The play was piled up by Al Wall. Dick Flowers, the Northwestern quarterback, hands the ball to Gene Miller, and Alan Jackson smacks him hard. Flowers, number 29, back to pass. There's the throw, a long one, a man in the clear, Bert Getty, but it bounces off his fingertip, incomplete, and the ball comes back. Cracks it, dropping back in punt formation. There's the pass. And he gets it away. He's rushed, though. And here's a mistake by Don Oldham, who tried to handle a punt on the three-yard line. Fumbles. It goes into the end zone, and Lowell Perry gets back in a hurry, picks it up. It's a safety for Northwestern, but Perry saved a touchdown there. Harry Ellis kicking off from the 20 for Michigan. The score now 13 to 2 in favor of Michigan. Foxa taking the ball. Tries to fight his way back upfield. Goes almost to midfield. There's a scramble for the ball, but it's Northwestern. Dick Flowers calling. Handoff is to John Miller, who's in there at right halfback going wide, but he's hit by Don Dupek. Fights his way forward for about a yard. Lateral out to Rich Athens. Athens coming down the left side. Cuts back up field, hit by Tony Momsen, gets into Michigan territory. Here's Dick Flowers dropping back again, a flat pass out to John Miller. Miller cuts past Mawson, but can't get away from him. Tony holds on. Ball is on the 40. Flowers handing off to Gene Miller. Miller fights his way down, gets away from one tackler, finally pulled down by Oldham, who had been blocked earlier. Goes to the 33. Flowers back to pass for Northwestern. There's a long throw going downfield, knocked down by Lowell Perry. The T formation for the Wildcats. Ball given to Athens, straight ahead, gets to about the 32. He's a big, powerful boy, this rich Athens. 
Watch him go now. The ball comes out to him on a handoff down to the 25. Gets away from the tackler, picks up a block by Burke Caddy, and goes into the end zone for the touchdown. And the score is 13 to 8 in favor of Michigan. Cracks it back to try for the extra point. Herb Gresson's holding. There's the kick, and the score is 13 to 9. Michigan 13, Northwestern 9. There's Bill Keel kicking off for Northwestern. Dufek with the ball comes up to the 30, up to the 37 yard line before he's finally pulled down. Going from the tee, a lateral from Kudich out to Dufek. Dufek fights his way down to about the 42 43. Fake handoff, then Ortman goes forward, gets to about the 45, thrown back rather viciously. All in the game, a good hard fought game. Dufek, plowing his way forward again, goes down into Northwestern territory. First down for the Wolverines. Here's little West Bradford with the ball, fighting his way forward to pick up a yard or two. They were shifted to meet him all day, but he still got that yard or two. Bradford in motion out to the right. Ball goes back to Ardman, who's looking for a pass receiver. There's his throw, it's complete to Bill Pudich, he's down to the 35. Falls forward for another yard or two. He's pulled down by Pat O'Brien. Pitch out this time to Straffen, who's in there in place of Dupac. Gets away from attacker. Almost goes the distance. Finally pulled down as he gets to about the 23. Kudich driving straight ahead. A little fellow, but he's got a lot of push, and it's the first down for the Wolverines. Another pitch out to Straffen. Straffen starts his way back upfield. This time he gets to about the 17. Straffen with the ball, takes the handoff, goes straight ahead, gets down to the 15th. Michigan working on that left tackle of Northwestern, the same play. Not much gain, just a yard or two this time. Gittich takes the ball, takes the handoff, it's a pass, knocked down in the line. Bill, big Ben Daniels tries to get it, and he's very unhappy when he doesn't. Then complete. But Michigan loses the ball on downs. Northwestern takes over. Dick Flowers, a handoff straight ahead of Gene Miller, who's pulled down by Dick McWilliams. A couple of flankers wide this time for the Northwestern Wildcats in the light uniform. The ball is handed off to John Miller, who's on at the left halfback in place of Dick Alvin. And he goes up to the 26-yard line. Pretty nice gain. Going straight ahead again, John Miller gives the ball off to... Gene Miller, the Miller boys had quite a time, and so did I, keeping up with it. Hand off back to Rich Athen. Athen tries to go wide, cuts up field, and finally hit by Alan Jackson and Tony Mumps. Man in motion is Gene Miller, number 14. Flowers back, a handoff on the Statue of Liberty, fumbled by John Miller, picked up in the air, and he's down on the 23-yard line. Cragsy, dropping back in punt formation. Keep your eye on number 59, right in the center of the line, Tony Mumpson. There's Tony going through, comes through, blocks the kick. Alice hits it, accidentally, of course. Down into the end zone, and Harry Alice picks it up for a touchdown for the Wolverines. Now they lead by a score of 19 to 9. Alice back to the kick. It's good, and the score is 20 to 9, and there was no more scoring in the first half. And friends, your Ford dealer invites you to attend the first public showing of the new Ford for 51 this Friday in his showroom. So won't you follow the crowd to your friendly Ford dealer this Friday, see the 51 Ford with the 43 new look-ahead features. Your Ford dealer wants you to test drive the 51 Ford any way you like. He thinks you'll agree that feature for feature, you can pay more, but you can't buy better. Now we'll take a look at halftime activities. The score was 20 to 9 at half. Michigan out in front. This is the wind up of the Michigan band feature and the kickoff for the second half. Keel kicking off for Northwestern. The ball goes down to Dufek again. He goes up to the 25, over to the 30, and he's tripped up by Keel, who made the kickoff. Leo Kosesky in at right half back now, number 18 for Michigan. Let the ball go straight ahead to Dufek, who lost his headgear in the process. 
Skittish in motion. Here's that drive off that same play. Hartman gets around and in, cuts up field, goes to the 40, and finally pulled down as he picks up about four more, almost to the 45. Same play in the same hole, and Hartman cuts outside again. He's hit as he gets to the middle of the field. Michigan on the mark. Ball back to Hartman, a jump pass. Knocked down by Ben Daniels, just back of the line. This boy seemed to have a step ladder all day long. There's the lateral back to Dufek. He tries to fight his way forward, but there's no hole there. One formation for the Wolverines. Hartman getting the kick away. Goes out of bounds. Down about the 14-yard line of Northwestern, and the Wildcats take over. Flowers handing off to John Miller, and John Miller... A lot of drive there as he fights his way forward. Hit by Pete Palmer, who's then backing up the line now for the Wolverines. John Miller going wide again. Spins, cuts his way upfield. Lowell Perry comes up finally to pull him down. It's a first down for the Wildcats. Flankers way out wide. The pitch out is to Rich Athen. They're trying to work that same play that went for a touchdown. And it's good for about five here. The tight tee this time. Hand off this to Athens. It's a fumble, and Harry Ellis recovers for the Wolverines, and Michigan takes over. Single wing to the right. In motion, Kaseski out to the left. The ball to Ortman. A quick pitch out to Kaseski. Stop. Starts back up field, and picks up about six on the play. But there was a penalty on the play. Fifteen yards for slipping against the Wolverines. Kaseski going out wide again. Pulled down on a one-hand grab. Gets up for about three. The ball is on the 38-yard line of Northwestern. Kaseski in motion out to the right. Ball out to Orkman. Looking for a pass receiver. There's his throw, and it's complete to Bill Pudic. And Pudic is down to the 22 before he's run out of bounds. He was the top pass receiver for the day, Bill Pudic, the Michigan quarterback. Here's Dufek going down to the 20, the 15, trying to stay in bounds. Finally knocked out on about the 7 or 8. Single wing to the right. The ball back to Dufek again. Dufek fights his way forward. Gets up to about the 7. And he's impounded that one hole in the Northwestern line all afternoon. And it's paid off. Bartman with the ball. Fights his way down to about the five. Single wing to the right. The ball to Dufek. Handed to Pudic. A fake lateral. A throw. Completes to Harry Ellis. He's hit immediately on the three-yard line. Up down by Pat O'Brien. Watch the power in this play. Hartman with blockers ahead of him. And he drives into the end zone for the touchdown. Michigan 26. Northwestern 9. Harry Ellis kicking. The kick is good. And the score is 27 to 9. Michigan 27. Northwestern 9. Ellis kicking off for the Wolverines. Ball going deep. Taken by Gene Miller. Miller's up to the 15 and thrown out of bounds on the 17-yard line. Michigan covered those uh, kickoffs well all day long. Hand off to John Miller this time. And John is thrown back very hard by Big Al Wall. Bob Burson is in there at quarterback for Northwestern. Gives the ball to John Miller. Burson back to pass. There's his throw out in the flat. Complete to Bob Meter in at fullback, and he's pulled down by Tom Johnson, who recovered in a hurry. Don Stone Cipher is the end wide. Cragsworth going back in punt formation. A high pass from center, but he gets it, gets it away, almost blocked again. Going downfield, taken by Lowell Perry, and he's hit immediately at the 46 yard line. Michigan takes over. Get it in motion. Ball is handed off to Kaseski from Straffen, but breaking through was Chuck Hagman, who tripped up Kaseski. Single wing right for the Wolverines. The ball to Straffen. Handed to Pudich. A lateral back to Ortman. Ortman running wide. 
Up to the 45, cuts back to the 50. The ball bounces out of his hands, intercepted by Ben Dangler. Northwestern taking over. Ball goes back to Burson. He's throwing. Downfield intended for Stone Cipher. Incomplete. Burson then at quarterback. The handoff is to John Miller. He finds a nice hole. Gets down into Michigan territory. Pulled down by Ozzie Clark. Don Burson at quarterback. There's a fumble, but he recovers. The handoff off the meter. But he was rushed by Tom Johnson coming through in a hurry and Alan Jackson. Punt formation for the Wildcats. There's Craig's kicking. Ball goes downfield to Kosesky. It's a nice block by Palmer. Another one by Johnson and Wall. Kosesky coming up field. Finally knocked out of bounds. After a nice return up to the 42. The best punt return by Michigan all season. Straffin with the ball, fighting his way forward to the 44. Straffin played in place of the injured Don Dufek. Ball back to Ortman. Jump pass, intended for Kosesky, incomplete. The pass was a little bit low. And the score 27 to 9 in favor of Michigan at the end of the quarter. Punt formation for the Wolverines. They go into a tight line. They want to get a punt block. Hartman's kick going downfield. Waiting for it is Dick Alban. Picks it up. Gets away from two tacklers. Makes five yards before he's pulled down by Stride. Ralph Stride. Flowers on at quarterback now. Gives the ball to John Miller. Harry Ellis gets him with one hand. Watch him fight for the ball. But Miller holds on to it. Flowers calling again for Northwestern. The handoff to Miller again and Northwestern finds a pretty good hole at the Michigan tackle for the moment. Down to the 47. Handoff this time to Wally Jones. He's fighting his way forward. Gets to the 42-yard line of Michigan. John Miller with the ball. Down to the 35. Down to the 34. Northwestern driving ahead. There's a pitch out to Meter. Meter tries to jump over the pile of players and goes down at the 32. Flowers handing off to Jones again. Jones tries to go wild, but Ozzie Clark pulled, pulls him down. Flowers back again to pass. Throwing one downfield. Complete to John Miller on the 26-yard line, but there's a penalty on the play. Penalty was against Michigan. Going straight ahead, Meter gets down to the 24. Meter again, fighting his way forward. This time he makes it a first down on the 22. Flowers back, looking for a pass receiver. Throws one out into the flat, intended for John Miller, incomplete. Tony Monson was out with him. The tight T formation this time for Northwestern. The handoff to Wally Jones. Cuts up field and goes to the 16-yard line before Tony Monson pulls him down. Hand off to Meter again. Tony Momsen hits him, pulls him down. Russ Osterman hit him first. He's in there at the defensive right end. Bars back to throw. There's a pass. Incomplete. Down on the 17. Intended for Wally Jones. Michigan takes over. In motion. Kosesky out to the left. The ball goes to Straffen. He's pulled down at the 20. Keep an eye on this boy. He can really go to town when he gets out there. Hartman coming up field, gets to about the 22. Northwestern piled that hole up just a little. Here's a single wing to the left. Kosesky in motion. Ball goes to Straffen. Fake handoff. He cuts out into the clear, goes to the 30. Down to the 35, the 40, the 45, 50. Being chased by Baggett. Baggett goes for a ride. And Straffen goes all the way to the 28-yard line before he's pulled down. Straffen hanging on to the ball, fights his way forward, goes to the 22. He was really plowing in there. Ball back to Hartman. Hartman cuts up field and goes to the 18. Straffen was hurt on that play. Don Dufek now in at fullback for Michigan. Ball to Dufek. He plows straight ahead, goes to the 16. 
Single wing to the right for the Wolverine. Ball back to Dufek. Dufek cuts through behind Straczewski. A good block by Straczewski. Dufek's down, drives into the end zone for the touchdown. Don Dufek clawing his way down into the end zone. Harry Ellis back to kick. Hartman will hold. Kick is good. And the score is Michigan 34, Northwestern 9. And that was all the scoring for Michigan. Alice kicking off. The ball goes downfield to Wally Jones at the goal line. Comes up to the 10, 15, and down to the 18. Dick Flowers back in at quarterback for Northwestern. A handoff straight ahead to Wally Jones. And he's fighting. He really fought his way forward. Went down to the 26. Handoff is to Jones again. Tries to come forward and picks up two or three yards before he's pulled down. Jay Berwanger halts play for a moment. Now it's ready to go. Flowers back to throw. There's a pass downfield almost intercepted by Dave Tinkin, number 37. It bounced off his hand as he spun around. Wally Jones again. Watch this boy fight his way forward for yards when it looks as if he's pulled down. John Miller with a ball this time, but Al Wall broke through in a hurry and smacked him before he could go anywhere. Confirmation for the Wildcats. Craggs is getting a kick away. He's hit and knocked down. The ball goes down to Perry, and Perry is pulled down immediately by Bill Keel. Single wing to the right for Michigan. Ball goes back to Dave Hill. Hill cuts wide. Still going and finally goes out of bounds. There's a clipping penalty called on Michigan, a 15 yard penalty. Hill is at tailback. Russ Rosorla at fullback. Rosorla with the ball. Fighting his way forward. Hill coming forward again. Goes out of bounds at the 17. Ball goes back to Rosorla, handed off to Hill. Hill gets away from one tackler, but can't go anywhere. Billings back to kick for Michigan. There's the ball coming down to Miller, handed off to Jones. Jones starts up field and is knocked out of bounds on the far sideline. Goes to the 47-yard line of Michigan. Flowers back to pass. Long pass downfield completed to Miller. This is the play on which Miller went out of bounds, came back in and caught the ball. But no one saw it. Miller going ahead straight downfield, goes to the 24-yard line. Flowers back looking for a pass receiver. There's a long throw. It's to Cragsis, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. Crescens will hold. Cragsis will kick. There's a kick. It's good, and the score is 34-16. to 16. We lost another touchdown here. All over the country this week, cattle are on the move as the annual fall shipments to market get underway. Once the movement starts, every hour is important. That's why the majority of cattle today is shipped by truck. Yes, and that's why so many cattle truckers have switched to Ford trucks. This 145 horsepower big job, one of more than 175 models in the Ford truck line, is typical of the hundreds of Ford trucks that pass daily through the famous stone gate entrance of the Chicago Union Stockyard. One of a fleet operated by Louis Schnathorst of Iowa, this Ford truck has proved it has the speed and reliability to do the job and do it for less. As the biggest trucker of cattle to Chicago, Mr. Schnathorst knows what he's talking about. In our business, time means money. Our firm is saving plenty of boats by using Ford trucks. Boy, these big Ford trucks are sure doing a swell job. And remember, Ford trucking costs less because Ford trucks last longer. Final score was 34 to 23 as we ran out of film before we could get that last touchdown. Michigan winning 34 to 23. And don't forget next week, same time, same station, Michigan and Ohio State. Paul Williams saying goodbye.